Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can deposit money from your bank account to your KuCoin account in Nigeria. Now, the method you are going to be using in this video is the P2P method. And this is because it is the easiest and simplest method to buy crypto right now. And also because of the crypto ban on Nigerian banks by the CBN. So we are going to be using the P2P method and I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step guide of how you can do it on your mobile phone. Now, before I go, go into this tutorial, if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Femi Alanio and I make videos on personal finance, cryptocurrencies, the stock market and how to make money online. So if you love content like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and kindly like this video. Now, the first thing you need to do is to log into your KuCoin account. But if you don't have a KuCoin account right now, use the link in the description of this video. If you use my link, you'll be getting 10% discount on all your trading fees on the app so i'll put the link in the description of this video now once you've logged into your account the first thing is to tap on p2p right here so where you can see where they are responding to so you tap on it and immediately it will take you to the p2p page but if it doesn't take you to the p2p page just come to the top of the screen where you have p2p and a drop down arrow just tap on it and then you are going to be seeing fast trade p2p and third party so you just come here and tap on p2p so it will take you to the P2P page directly. Now, since you are buying, you just tap on buy where they are responding to. But if it's that you are selling your crypto or you want to withdraw to your bank account, that's where you tap on sell. But for this video, since you are depositing and you are buying crypto, you are going to tap on buy. And then the next thing is to tap on the crypto you want to buy. So you can see you can buy USDT, BTC, ETH, KCS, USDC, and PAX. So for this video, I'm going to be buying USDT. And once you've done that, you come to where they are responding to where you have NGN and you select your fiat currency, so your country's currency. So if it's um, USD, AED, and so on. So if you are from Nigeria like me, just search for NGN. So you can see it's already on NGN already. So after you've done that, the next thing is you see the different people you can buy crypto from. So there are different people you can buy crypto from to deposit money to your KuCoin account. Now, another thing you need to check out is the limit. So you can see the first person has limit between 0 Naira to 500 Naira. It means that the person can sell um, USDT between 0 Naira to 500 Naira. So you can buy crypto of more than 500 Naira from this person. And if you check the next person, the person's limit is 1,000 Naira to 15,000 Naira. So this means that you can buy crypto between um, USDT between 1,000 Naira to 15,000 Naira from this person and so on. Another thing you need to check is the payment method. Now, from the first, for the first person, you can see where they are responding to. That is the CUDA bank um, logo. So that means the person has a CUDA bank account where you can send money to. And then the next person has the OP bank um, logo. That means you, the person has um, an OP bank account where you can send money to. And then the third person, this logo means bank transfer. So the person has um, other banks like um, Zenith, Zenith Bank, Access Bank, Wema Bank, and so on. So that means bank transfer. And then the next person has bank transfer and CUDA bank. So you can see there are different payment methods. So just pick the payment method that you want. And another thing you need to check apart from those things is to check the price at which the person is selling USDT. So you come to where they are responding to at the right side of the screen. So you can see this first person is selling at 569 Naira. The next person is selling at 607.8 Naira. And then you see other people and the price they are selling um, their home. And most importantly, you need to check the um, number of orders and the completion rate of the person you want to trade with. For example, the person, this first person has 17,777 orders and 97% completion rate. The next person has about 30,000 orders and 95% completion rate. You'll be seeing um, the completion rate and number of orders for other people. That's just that show you that that the percentage of the number of trades they've completed. That's just the meaning. So you can know that you're trading with a very, very um, reliable person. No, they are all reliable because you can't lose your money on the on the app. So you can just you know be careful of the person you are trading with. So for this video, I'm going to be buying crypto of about twenty thousand naira. So we are going to check for the person that has a limit between uh, around twenty thousand naira. So you just come here and scroll, and you can see um this person has ten thousand naira as the highest. The next person eight thousand naira. The next person 12,000 naira. Okay, this person has um, a limit of 1,000 naira to 15,000 naira. So let's buy from this person. So just if you want to buy, just come here and tap on buy where the arrow is pointing to. So right here, you enter the amount of USDT you want to buy. Don't forget, the person has a limit of between 1,000 naira to 15,000 naira. So let's say I want to buy 
about 15,000 error done so you just come down here and read the person's remarks that's very very important also now as you can see the person said thank you for choosing royal exchange please note that third party payment is not allowed payment should be made from bank account or wallet that match your name on kucoin this is to tell you that don't use another person's bank account to make transfer to this person and also the person saying payment made from third party account will be refunded immediately please do not write crypto related words like kucoin btc in payment remarks just just write your name or leave it blank and then crypto will be released once your payment is confirmed call these and whatsapp these for any inquiry so this person has even put his um his our phone number right here so you can call in case of anything so once you've done that just come down here and tap on buy now so as you can see right here the time is already counted for you to make payment so you have to transfer fifteen thousand dollars to this person and then to check the person's um, payment method the community where they are responding to You'll be seeing the person's full name and then the person's op phone number so the person's op phone number is just the uh, person's account number in case you don't know the op phone number is also the account number so in case if it's um, another bank maybe the person is using a kuda bank account you also see the kuda bank account number right here so i'll just copy this account number and then don't forget the bank name is op and then the full name is adm or kazim Ido. so i just go to my bank app right now and transfer fifteen thousand naira to this person a few moments later so as you guys can see on the screen i've just sent fifty thousand error to this person which is ademo kazim ido then i'll just go to my um, kucon account right now so my kucon account right now so at the bottom side of the screen where you have mark as paid so if you've paid the money just come here and tap on mark as paid but make sure that you've transferred the money first before tapping on this so once you've made the payment just tap on mark as paid what is here just telling you that make sure you've transferred the money before clicking on mark as paid so once you've transferred the money just tap on confirm so as you can see right now we are waiting for the person to release the crypto now if you see um, what is written here where you have notice it's saying if the order is not processed by the seller within 24 hours the system will automatically release the crypto to your account so you can see that your money is saved you don't have to be scared even if the person does not release the crypto or does not reply you in 24 hours so after 24 hours if this order is not completed the crypto will be automatically sent to your KuCoin account. So I'm going to be waiting right now for the person to release the crypto. A few moments later. Yeah, as you can see at the top of the screen, it says the seller has released the crypto. The transaction is completed. And then you come to the bottom side of the screen and tap on check assets to check your asset, or you tap on start trading to start trading immediately. So we are going to tap on check assets to see if our crypto is, our, is in our account already. So you tap on check assets. So as you can see right here, I have USDT in my wallet already. I have $24 USDT in my wallet already. So the USDT is already in our account already. So let's say you want to now use this USDT to buy another crypto. Let's say you want to use it to buy Solana. Remember that Solana is not on the P2P page on KuCoin. So let's say you want to use this USDT to buy Solana right now. The first thing you need to do is you need to transfer this money from your main account to your trading account. You can see where, where it is uh, writing main right here. You can see this um, USDT is under the main um, account. So you transfer it to your trading account right here. Now to transfer it, tap on transfer where, where you can see deposit, withdraw, transfer so you tap on transfer right there and then you select usdt and then you can see from main account to trading account and then you tap on all just to make sure that you are transferring everything and then you just tap on confirm so right now you already have your usdt in your trading wallet then you can now go to where you have trade at the bottom side of the screen where you have trade just tap on trade and then you come here and you search for solana slash usdt which is SOL slash USDT. So you can see it at the top uh, at the top of the screen. So just tap on it right now. So let's say you want to buy at the current price of the market. You want to buy at uh, immediately. You want to buy the Solana immediately. Just tap, make sure that this where you have market, just make sure that it's on market. Sometimes it might be on limit. Let me, if you tap the drop down arrow, you see that it's, you have limit, market, stop limit, and so on. I'm going to make another tutorial video to show you how to use all these, how to use the limit, market, stop limit, and stop market. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So after you make sure that it's on market, just come here and enter the amount of USDT you want to spend. So let's say, for example, we want to buy Solana worth of $20. Just enter 20 and then just come right here to where you have buy as well, and just tap on buy as well. And here you enter your trading password. So I've entered my trading password already and if you go to your asset again to your wallet you see that you have SOL in your wallet so I have $19.95 worth of Solana in my wallet 
So that's the simple step-by-step -step guide of how you can deposit money from your bank account to your KuCoin account through the P2P method and also use it to buy crypto on KuCoin. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll still be making more tutorial videos on how to use the KuCoin app. I'll still make a video on how to do sport trading and futures trading on the KuCoin app. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.